Hi, Emma. Welcome to Cluj. We're very excited to have you here. Can you tell us a bit how does it feel to be here and how has, how are your first feelings of the tournament and all the people here? No, thanks for having me. Uh, it's been amazing so far. I've had such a warm welcome and uh, I love to hit on centre court twice with some fans and um, especially this afternoon. It was a really nice and special moment after the practice um, and I love seeing them all out there in the Mexican way. It was a, yeah, really cool. Yeah. What does it mean for you to play in Romania for the first time? What mattered most in your decision to come here? Yeah, it means a lot. It's the first um, pro tournament I've played here and I always love coming back to Romania. My dad is from here, so I've always got really great memories and um, that was definitely a factor when I saw that there was a tournament here in Romania. I was like, I have to go. I mean, um, so I was really excited and yeah, I'm really happy to be here. Talking a bit about the tournament itself, um, how do you feel about your game right now and uh, your ex what are your expectations for this week? Again, I'm going out, no expectations. I'm just learning a lot about myself since um, New York and I, you know, just it's going to be a bit up and down as it always is, but uh, I'm feeling good overall. Like I've had a really good practice week and um, just getting used to the courts now and I've got until Tuesday. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to my match. You're still rather new to the to the tour. What are the challenges and the adjustments you need to make in order to adapt to this new stage of your career? Yeah, it, it definitely is pretty new to me. I've played less than 10 tournaments and uh, I've skipped a lot of levels I feel like I went from playing 25k's to playing like the top tournaments in the world so I think that I just need time to adjust my game and uh, just get a feel for the level and the ranking and then I'll I'll bring myself and raise myself up there eventually it will just take a little bit of time. It seems like you're still as you said you're still learning about yourself as a player at this level uh, what's the main thing you've discovered about your game uh, so far? Um, I've discovered that, like I've discovered, I say the thing I've learned the most is just to deal with how to deal with when it's not going so smoothly because it, you just need to bounce back and be resilient because at the end of the day you're, you're going to lose every week uh, because you're not going to win every single tournament mm -hmm. and uh, that's something that I'm just reminding myself of and uh, the long term journey is really what matters, the work you put in every day. Okay. Is there something you've also maybe also discovered about yourself on the personal on a personal level? Yeah, I, I guess I've decided like I've learned that I've learned how to be patient because I'm naturally quite impatient. Like I always want something now, um, but I just know that it's such a long journey. I've got like 15 mm -hmm. more years in the sport, so I'm gonna burn myself out if I go crazy all the time. <laughs> so you want to play on a long term? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, when you when you look back on, on this year and especially on this summer, what do you think you'll remember it for? I've got a lot of memories from this summer. So first, play, not playing tennis for two and a half months, then my exams, which I studied very hard for, but I did pretty well. And then Wimbledon was an incredible experience. I thought Wimbledon was just huge and really cool, and playing at home as well. And then um, obviously US Open, I had an incredible memory so uh, I just zero to a hundred I feel like just just really really happy and joy and proud okay uh, what's the thing you've maybe enjoyed most since winning the US Open enjoyed most oh uh, uh, <laughs> so many yeah I'd say well the, for sure the dinner that I on the US Open after I won like that was the best moment of my life I would say and uh then since, I feel like it's just all gone so fast, I don't even know what's happened. So, um, yeah, I've, I've, I've just enjoyed how, you know, it's not been smooth. It's not just been like on a high. Like I've definitely, I had some challenges and I'm just like, I worked through them and I think I'm most proud of myself for that. For working through the yeah, um, challenges. Okay. How has your life and your routine, your daily routine changed since uh, winning in New York? Yeah, I mean, it, the only thing that's changed is I, I've like realized I'm not good with jet lag. Like I wait, I was wait, I had a week off, but I was waking up at 4 p.m. So my days were gone, and I was like, what do I do with my day? And it's five o'clock. So <laughs> that's what I've learned the most. Like that's what I've done. But um, I've, I don't know. 
Yeah. How did you adjust to that uh, jet lag to, to changing your routine because of that? Um, I just try to go to bed on time, okay. but I I would say my routine stay exactly the same. Like I'm a huge breakfast person, <laughs> so I have the same thing for breakfast every day, and it's yeah. Uh, that's that's a staple. What do you have for breakfast? <laughs> you can tell us. Well, I have I'm like a huge yogurt person. So I have yogurt and fruit every single day mm-hmm. and peanut butter, honey, either oats or some like sort of Weetabix cereal. <laughs> you mentioned several times about the importance of staying focused on yourself and your game. Is that difficult to do now since the context has changed? Do you feel the outside pressure and expectations rising? I feel like at the moment that for myself, the the only pressure is what I expect from myself out on the court and that hasn't changed. That's been with me since I played. I've always had high expectations of myself. And um, But outside, I, I don't feel like any external factors really affect me. So that's a pretty positive thing, I would say. Okay. Uh, it is well known that your parents come from different cultures and backgrounds and you often talk about how, how their work ethic and their high expectations have shaped you. Can you talk a bit about how what you learned from each of them and how do you apply that to your career? Yeah, I mean, both of them have different cultures. They, um, and, you know, like they were very tough on me from a young age and had high standards. But I think that's been great for me. I've had really good development and um, it's basically shaped me into what I am now, but I still got a long way to go. Um, my mom, I would say she's very big on respect. So um, that's something that I've got. Um, I wouldn't, I can't even dare to talk back to her because <laughs> I'm scared of her. But um, so huge on respect. And that's something she's really put into me. And then my dad, um, he's he's really like keen to learn and um, like, he he's always pushing me to learn and about everything and sometimes i'm like tired and i don't want to learn anymore i just want to switch off but uh yeah always just pushing me to do better and uh especially at a young age like he would have really high standards and like give me a hard time but it's good because i bounced back mm-hmm. and i became better okay uh, your confidence and mental strength is uh, impressive especially for your age can you talk about a bit about how you developed your mental resilience and maybe how your parents contributed to that? Yeah, I would say I, well, my parents was like, they were actually pretty tough on me. So I had to be resilient, like with myself, even so when I was young and they would like tell me off, I would have to like recover myself, even from a really, really young age. So that's basically taught me how to be really independent and not uh, rely on anyone else to try and make me feel better. I'm always the one who controls everything because, you know, I'm going to get myself in a better mood or change it, change something if I want to. And do you feel that helps you in during the games to be strong mentally? Yeah, I think definitely being strong mentally is because of the childhood and like being, having to do that from a young age. Um, even when it wasn't related to tennis. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, there's a famous picture of you as a young girl in Simona Halep taken some years ago. It was very popular here. Mm-hmm. Do you remember taking it and uh, <laughs> what you learned from her? I remember I was so scared because I was really young and uh, I was really shy, so I didn't want to like go and ask her. But um, I, my dad like pushed me and I went and I went to go ask her and um, I was just really happy after that photo because Simone has been a great inspiration for me since a young age and I've loved watching her and uh, she's been really friendly in some short exchanges that we've had. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I think it's just really cool to be able to be at the same tournament as her. And do you have maybe a message for Romanian fans who unfortunately won't be here to, to see you but they're rooting for you? Um, yeah, like, thank you. What's the best Brad Tim Wald? No posso zi frate bine, da poți înțelege și da. Mă te iubesc. Mă. They love you too. Yeah. Okay, thank you very Thanks. much. Thanks.